welcome to Ecoholics. As the UGC NET examination is round the corner, this is the time to practice all the things that are possible and enough for your preparation of the examination. So today we have come with a very interesting video of seven points to remember before you go for attempting the UGC NET examination. So let's begin. These are the seven points that you must remember before you go for attempting the UGC NET paper. Now the examination covers a variety of topics, whether you are from a particular stream or you are from another. It has a specific pattern and this examination pattern is very, very important to note. So the paper one, which is a general, uh, general paper and the paper two, which is a core paper. It can be for any subject, any particular subject can be for economics, commerce, science, maths, any particular subject in which you have done your post graduation. So looking at the holistic way in which the examination presents before you, we have seven very important points to remember that will definitely help you in cracking your UGC NET examination. And also, if you are really, really adhering all the points, you may also score really well to crack the JRF. So let's begin with the point number one. Always remember that syllabus is the king of any examination. So to crack any examination, you need a direction and this direction is given by the syllabus. So syllabus is always the king that every mu one must note and the syllabus is going to give you the right direction to study. So you have one very important work to do before you go for attempting your examination to clarify what syllabus has been mentioned in paper one as well as in paper two, which is your core paper. So this is something which is very, very important. The modules that have to be covered both for paper one and paper two. Have you covered those modules? Have you looked at the syllabus carefully looking at what all things have been incorporated? What all things have been deducted? All of that information one must carry before they go to attempt the exam. Then the next point is the previous year questions. Now previous year questions formulate the base of any examination. Some of the examinations provide these PYQs, some of the examinations do not. Um, thankfully, unfortunately, the UGC net examination does provide on their official websites the various previous year questions or the various uh, papers of the previous years and which is going to provide you a trend of how the questions have been asked. You would know that there are these modules. You have defined the syllabus. You have structured your timetable according to the syllabus. But what is the trend? You should definitely know, note the trend. And this trend definitely is going to uh, help you in finding the weightage of every module. What is the weightage? Many a times what happens is you will not get 10, 10 questions from each module or 5, 5 questions from each module. There might be some, some changes in the past years. Have there been 8 or 7 questions from a module and that has been uh, converted into 12 or 13 questions of other module or are there certain uh, certain questions? which have moderate difficulty level, some have high difficulty level. So the level of difficulty, the kind of chronology, the type of questions that are being asked, all of that will be told by the previous year questions. So um, revising is not just um, imperative. Imperative is also to look back at the past year questions and to see the trend and analyze what type of questions can now be asked from these different modules. 
Then the next one is test your knowledge. Now that you have a full um, knowledge or you have structured that this is the trend. You have knowledge. You have knowledge about the structure, the syllabus, as well as the trend. So now the only thing that is remaining is to actually test your knowledge by doing these questions practically. Practically solving questions for your core paper is very, very important because there might be questions related to concepts, uh, questions related to chronology, which means what came, which theory came first, then which theory came second, which came third, all of that. Or there can be match the following, um, match the following kind of question, right? Match the following kind of question. There would be a series of events or books and authors or economists which you would have to match or you would have to find out the correct pairs or correct options or incorrect options. In all of these ways, if you know at least the majority of them, definitely you will be able to crack that question and solve that question. Then uh, very uh, enormous um, weightage would not be given to numerical questions if it is not a very integral part of any particular syllabus. However, nowadays as we move towards the trend, we have realized that practical questions, questions related to the contemporary world, current affairs, um, logical questions, uh, questions which are based on something like assertion and reasoning have contributed a lot to the UGC net papers and which is why one must definitely practice these questions. Apart from that, nowadays a certain set of questions also arrive, uh, especially in a few, few uh, subjects like uh, geography, economics, commerce and even a few subjects of sciences, which is the case study so five questions or 10 questions would be based on this, this case study. And which is why you must be, uh, you must have a holistic knowledge about these concepts. Sometimes they would not be asked you directly, but through a case study or a case let. And which is why your vertical as well as horizontal, both types of knowledges are going to be tested. So doing these questions will definitely help. Then, you have the current affairs in GK. As I was mentioning that the trend nowadays is moving towards the contemporary knowledge. What is happening around the world? What are the things in relations to economy, in relation to world economy, in, relations, uh, in relation to uh, products, export, import, environment, um, all trade, all of that definitely is um, very, very uh, like a good question to come in the examination because this examination covers all different areas of knowledge. It covers numerical, it covers conceptual, it covers theoretical, it covers uh, practical, it covers logical. So all of these areas, especially because this is an examination which will uh, make you uh, if you qualify this examination, it will make you an assistant professor. So you will be placed in a university as an educator or a college as an educator. And that is why it is very, very important for such a candidate to have a holistic knowledge about different things that are happening around the world. And that's why current affairs in GK definitely uh, would contribute. Then your revision. Revision, of course, does not mean to read. Many a times what happens is students are going to open up their refreshers or their books and they're just going to browse through. Okay, okay, this is done, that is done. That is not the way how you revise. Revision always is going to happen along with, so your, your reading plus 
writing now what do you write you would of course make some mind maps okay you can make certain line diagrams or uh, some charts okay so that your information whatever you are learning becomes concise very small in small and you learn a lot so you are not just learning you are actually also retaining revision actually means that whatever you have you remember you are just trying to recollect that and which is why a major proportion of your syllabus has to be learnt and retained only then your revision will be effective then the next one is fact sheet now many a times there are subjects like economics or commerce or i think geography history i think all the subjects are such where you would require fact sheet now fact sheet is what it's basically a sheet that you create and these this fact sheet will have um different very very um specific and very important notes or facts which have happened with respect to that particular subject and the different modules in that subject for example if you are learning economy economics then the different theories given by different economists now there are tons of theories okay you will have to pen down every theory remember that copy pasting such things and making notes also will do the same thing to you it will be like a handout or it will be like a printed note however it would not be very effective because as i mentioned reading plus writing is very important so unless until you do it with your own hand you would uh, you know practice with your own brain only then it would be very effective and which is why such theories such events such uh, topics or such let's say there are a set of books which had a set of authors so such type of fact sheets can be built and it will be definitely very effective you can stick it around your room or your table or anywhere or you can take soft copies of that and you can um, put it on your phone so that you can revise it whenever you're free so this is definitely going to be a very nice activity to retain such things which are, which cannot be understood they do not have any meaning but they are still very important because it's a very important piece of information okay and then the last one that we have is do not ignore paper one many students complain that ugc net uh, scores were fine they cracked ugc net but they could not score jrf which is junior research fellowship so my dear students if you aspire to crack not just ugc net but jrf as well your score will build up not just by your core subject but also by the paper one paper one has 10 modules okay we have a prime focus on something like teaching aptitude and research aptitude but apart from that there are also something like communication and reading comprehension and di and uh, reasoning logical mathematical reasoning higher education questions there's so many things out on the platter that you will have to also absorb all of that information it's a very nice interesting paper if you read it carefully and if you uh, revise it and practice the questions properly then definitely you will score very well in that paper and it will definitely be a no ignore concept uh, which will definitely fetch you not just ugc net but jrf um, along with your paper 2 so do not ignore paper 1 which is a very very important integral paper to score higher and to achieve jrf so these are the seven points to remember before you attempt ugc net paper i hope that all of you score well and uh, come out with flying colors so that is it for this video keep on watching our videos for more such 
various concepts and you can also type in your suggested um, videos or concepts that we can make a video on so that's it for today so thank you very much subscribe our channel and keep liking and sharing our videos good luck for your examination bye bye